Questions that Minister Soraya Hakuziaremye responded to were emphasizing on cross-border markets, including the Karonji market that cost 1.5 billion Anand francs, but still has problems in its feasibility study, including building infrastructures that are different from what should take place there, as well as using non-standard materials. This market also has road problems located far from the nearest one, and also a battery that is still far, which makes it hard to provide meat to the market. Current market is also used at a rate of 26% compared to other cross-border markets. The parliamentarians have requested that the Ministry of Trade and Industry should work closely with the Ministry of Justice in order to follow up on those that provided a bad feasibility study resulting in huge losses. On the bad feasibility study, we blame the one who did the study, basing on his or her signed contract. When does the Minister of Justice intervene in order to show that the contract was well done and it is for the government's profit? And if it intervened, forgetting to show the punishment and the effects of the one that did the feasibility study. When he or she did wrong and the government loses, let the minister tell us if they discussed about these issues or if they are planning to solve that problem. <laughs> Being honest, all these markets are worthy almost billions. What is the cost of putting a triface? What is the cost of cash power? What is the cost of an engine? It is as if these are things that come about unexpectedly, and yet there should be proper planning. There is also Rugari market that is located in Yamashiji district, which cost 2 billion and 390 million and francs, that started being built in 2018, which was expected to end within 11 months, but it is still at 49% of completion. On these and other matters, the Minister of Trade and Industry, Saraha Kuziremye, has said that there are things that are being done in order to solve the problems. <laughs> During this year's fiscal year and the next one, we are going to emphasize on the Karonji market, especially on the issues related to conflicts of interest, which appear to have solutions. Even though the evaluation must continue, then we got the private operator, the contract was signed, and we as the ministry will also assist. We will also improve and enhance products' availability. Train cross-border traders on the challenges they may encounter, encouraging them not to work only in those markets, but also actually cross the border. We believe that the next fiscal year of 2020 to 2021, all those problems will have been resolved and those responsible will have been identified and follow up on by justice organs. On other strategies that the Minister of Trade and Industry presented, there is encouraging investors and manufacturers to supply their products to cross-border markets as well as encouraging the entrepreneurs in manufacturing more products while addressing infrastructure problems.